this is I'm entering my fourth term as uh, president of the State Board of Education in California. I did this job before under Jerry Brown. He was governor, some of you may recall, in the 75 to 85. And uh, the old men that run the state now are uh, our, our watchwords are uh, patience, persistence, and humility. Uh, and when you look at the Common Core, which I'm basically going to talk about, uh, you'll see why we need patience, persistence, and humility uh, to get this uh, job really done. Uh, it's, it, on, on the democracy and theme and so on, I think California is really on the move. There's a, a theory of when policy windows open up, when you can do a lot in education policy. And this is a Professor John Kingdon of Michigan. And he has essentially three policy streams collide. And when these policy streams collide at a particular point in time, then the policy window opens and you can do things that are major and non-incremental. And uh, California has all three of these going. Uh, we have a rising tide of revenue. Uh, our budget has been, expand, uh, uh, has been expanding since the uh, end of the recession. Uh, so uh, we just learned today that we have a $2 billion surplus for next year that we hadn't uh, uh, predicted. So a lot more of that will go to education. Rising tide of revenue. We have a united political coalition that has a long-term stability. Uh, we're an overwhelmingly Democratic Party state. The, the legislature's almost two-thirds Democratic. The governor's been reelected for another four years. So we will have eight years in office to implement the Common Core. And it you know, will take longer than that, probably, but that's a decent run. And lastly, uh, we have some big ideas. So those three are coming together. Our main four main priorities, and I won't talk about all of them, obviously, I'll just talk about Common Core. Uh, are the implementation of Common Core. Uh, the coming along next is the implementation of the next generation science standards, which have been uh, devised nationally. You may want to look at those over time. We aspire to be the national leader in that. Eight states have approved that. Uh, next is something I won't talk about called the Local Control Accountability Plan. We're the only state or I've known about that's trying to improve schools through improving local school district budget thinking, making, uh, running them through a process of public involvement, more democracy, and uh, a new way of uh, thinking about their resource allocation. We're not telling them anymore how to spend it, but we are guiding the process they think about it. And uh, in that regard, and last something isn't really on the program here, I guess. We have uh, charter schools. We have 1,200 charter schools in California. They grow at 10% compounded. Uh, and so Professor Murnane talked about uh, redoing structures. We're very much into that. Okay, I'm going to skip through some of these. Uh, state policy for the Common Core. Uh, is uh, is a really a major uh, emphasis. Uh, these were created by the National Governors Association and the Council of Chief State School Officers. So it was not President Obama, uh, but it, it came basically from the states. And this thing swept through the United States. 45 states adopted these really challenging standards, as you'll see. Uh, and uh, we've had some fall off, but it's probably somewhere in the high 30s that are sticking with it. Some of the states have, you, uh, re have just renamed them. The Florida Sunshine Standards, they're called, or the Indiana Core. Uh, so they said, we've repealed Common Core and gotten rid of President Obama, but it's really uh, very similar. So it's still somewhere in the 30s. Uh, as far as accountability, uh, the United States, and I'll show you some of this, um, ha is embarking on a total overhaul of its assessment and accountability. We have a brand new assessment program uh, that I'll give you some, and we, we've got 350 to 400 million dollars to develop new assessments. Uh, it's quite a lot of money. Uh, and in California, the poli political attacks on Common Core have been rebuffed. So if you want to study Common Core, California is a good place. We're all in. We're pretty politically united. Uh, the opposition is very scattered, and we're going to get on with it. 
So the themes, of course, of Common Core are fewer standards. The U.S., for example, mathematics curriculum was criticized in international studies, like Tim's, as a mile wide and an inch deep. We covered lots of topics superficially and then moved on. So we've slimmed down the standards and the curriculum and the topics uh, higher. For the first time, the U.S. is linking its K through 12 standards to post-secondary education success. So we used to make policy over here in K-12 and then over here in higher ed was another bunch of policy. Now we've connected the two so that the common core and the uh, uh, curriculum and the assessments, the preparation and all of the policy links to higher education and deeper. I'll get into that in a minute. So part of the uh, aspects, of course, are, are th that you see, and a lot of this uh, goes right back to our first panel this morning. Uh, if you take some of the comments that all four of those panelists uh, were using, I think you see uh, on this slide that, uh, that these are really uh, much in tune with where we think the uh, economy is, uh, is, is tending and, and things that students will need uh, in the 21st century. So here are my verbs uh, that I use to, uh, under uh, adjectives that I use to understand this as well. Uh, and this gives you a good idea. These words appear all around the Common Core. So if you read the standards and you read, we reduce the standards to curriculum frameworks. So here's standards and then we do a curriculum framework for like mathematics. And then that's how teachers can be guided in how to teach it. It gives them flow and structure. So these, these words come back in, in, into, the, into the structure of it, and these are very different than our prior standards uh, and are much deeper and, and I think illustrates the idea uh, of deeper learning uh, as, as we uh, go forward. Now, you, as you're getting to see, this is quite a challenge, and uh, I'll kind of, you know, the ending is, boy, can we do this? Uh, but our results in California have been so weak that our theory was we can't incrementalize our way. We have to go with a big bang and change everything. By the way, David has a paper that has all this in great detail that is published through uh, his uh, PACE organization. Uh, one of the major complaints of higher education in California was uh, that students couldn't read informational texts, nonfiction. Most of the English was, was not fiction, novels, and so on. And, you know, knowing about Beowulf is important. Uh, but we have moved the, the, the structure much more uh, to reading uh, complex studies. Uh, uh, they couldn't read a child development study when they got to college. They couldn't uh, really uh, get into uh, deeper informational texts. So we have. Uh, supported a change there, uh, and that's reflected in the Common Core. Now, I don't have a lot of time for this, but I'll, I just want to show you the difference in assessment. This is from our old assessment. This is the one we threw out the window, and we're now moving to a new assessment called the Smarter Balanced Assessment uh, that is um, used. So this is the kind of item that all of the economists and everybody in the room, they run their correlations off of this as to what kids know and are able to do. Uh, and so this is uh, all students uh, in, a, in a smarter balanced assessment in California will have a, uh, a what's called a performance exam. Uh, and it, all our assessment will be entirely on computer. Uh, and it'll be computer adaptive. If, uh, but the performance exam, this, we pulled items from all over the world. This one came from Queensland, a lot from Canada. So here's the kind of things that they'll do on the performance of a, uh, exam uh, that, uh, that gives you an idea of, uh, so the performance exams are, are an hour and a half long. Uh, we have never had hour and a half long exams before. Other countries have. Uh, and again, all computer, adaptive computer uh, on the other items, not the performance, meaning if you're getting, uh, if you're doing well, we give you harder questions. If you're doing easier, we give you, uh, if you're doing poorly, we're doing you easy, easier questions. So you can see the change. Uh, some students will go on to do a, uh, a project on this and uh, work in teams, so a lot of communication thing is there. Now here's an English language arts item. This is again our, uh, the test we use for years. This is No Child Left Behind. 
uh, and it gives you an idea of the style of American testing. Uh, I was over in England. They wouldn't think of giving this kind of a test. We and again, all of the, uh, a lot of the correlations on, on on what we know and can do are off of these kinds of assessments. And then uh, so that level of reading, and then uh, we do we're using in the performance exam items. This is Alberta, Con uh, Canada. We're weaving the uh, uh, the deeper reading and understanding across science and history social studies so this is a science embedded one I'm not going to show much more of this with uh, no time in that regard so uh, that gives you a little idea of some of what we're, is going on and where the assessment and the accountability will change dramatically on the testing side so we have try have learned from the prior years of Common Core uh, from the prior years of standards that Coherent policy is essential. So California has worked hard and largely succeeded in aligning all its policies. So here is our overview of how we think about it and what we've done. So at the center are your standards, uh, and then we have aligned all aspects of these in this wheel with those standards. So our curriculum content, the frameworks reflect the standards, so we have guidance for teachers. We've, in, we've uh, in, uh, adopted or endorsed all new instructional materials, new textbooks, new computer-based materials, digital materials. So our curriculum materials that uh, the state uh, uh, uses or endorses and, and are there. Princi uh, and teacher policy, to answer the question over here that was skipped at the last session, pre-service training in California, uh, Linda is the head of the, of the California Teacher Commission. Like I are appointed by Governor Brown, and so she heads a state body, and so the Common Core is the basis for the approvals of the teacher uh, professional uh, programs for uh, pre-service. Uh, we are come back to this, have a massive professional development uh, effort signed, uh, and evaluation of teachers will reflect Common Core as well. Uh, the state assessments I've talked about, they're aligned to Common Core. Special education, we have a report coming out in two weeks on how to take handicapped children and, and align them to that. The finance formula is made much more flexible so they can spend money on Common Core uh, and uh, in English language arts. Uh, English learners is an important area so I'm running out of time so I'm gonna skip this one anyway this is just our machinery whoops so I want to go back to the problems um, we have uh, a massive issue of professional development you've talked about that in the last session which set this up uh, I think very well uh, our basic approach is one of our basic approaches is to work through networks of teachers uh, across districts we fund uh, multi-district uh, school district as our local level uh, networks of teachers uh, and we also have a large number of, of what are called technical assistance providers who are nonprofit or for-profit firms that are helping with this and we're involving our teacher unions uh, our teachers are behind this in California uh, because we are um, we have a use what Richard Elmore at Harvard's law as you you don't increase accountability unless you increase capacity at the same level so it's like the scales of justice we're ratcheting up uh, accountability but we'll ratchet up capacity building in the same way we're, we're getting all new materials those are slowly getting out there uh, we have spent the uh, state provided 1.25 billion for the implementation uh, of uh, common core a lot of that was in technology uh, initially to give the assessment uh, the assessment of learning is going on uh, and we're aligning this with higher education uh, so that higher education will accept the K-12 assessment as, as an indicator of whether you're ready for college and the University of California which approves high school courses uh, only approves those uh, that are aligned with the, uh, uh, with the uh, Common Core. Uh, so that gives you some overview of, of the challenge. We're, uh, we're four years out. Maybe uh, have we done a good job? Come back in 219 or 220. Ask me and I'll give you an answer. Right now it's a work in progress. Thank you.